There we go. There. <laughs> well done. All right. Awesome. Our anyway. trash service <laughs> coming also in. Known as uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, the trash service coming in. <laughs> Oh, you can. Uh, well, he's he's, gonna, he's he's kind of back with yeah. the, the other thing. Uh, so, but this this boss is pretty much like all the other bosses. It's a giant. Crab. It is a giant crab. His name Pencha. The reason what? it's called Pencha is because it's a crab, a giant enemy crab, you might say. Uh, we will we will continue to exploit the uh, the engine <laughs> peculiarity. Yeah. The uh, corner of invincibility. The corner of invincibility. Just uh, push down there. Occasionally jump out, throw some twin knives, and you will be just fine. There we go. I am phasing through Pincha. Yay! Hooray! We have a clean, do empty trash can. We will now be able to throw things in the trash can. Things like trash and others. Others. Other sundry items. Yes. Uh, there is not a whole lot to say about this boss. Uh, by using the, uh, I, I died. By the way. You got a little greedy. A little greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll learn me. That's what I, I did not really want to re-record it because it seemed a little disingenuous. Because I was like, "Well, I did the rest of the dungeon pretty much in one shot. I might as well just keep the death in yeah. there." Uh, even though you are invincible in this corner, um, unsurprisingly, you are not invincible when not, not in, in the, the corner. corner of this is the there I am well, phasing hey. through his pinchers. Yeah. Now you have to shoot him in the eyes, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, the eyes are the only part that are vulnerable. Of course, you have to wait for the. Uh, the claw the to, pincers yeah. yeah to get out of the way um, it is possible to hit both eyes from the lower right corner here which is why I'm just gonna stay in this area and not get killed yeah again yeah yeah again I, I, I will in fact beat this boss you need not worry that's a lot of daggers <laughs> Yeah, this, I'm this, just just spawning daggers. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's there's a, not a whole lot to say about this boss. It is pre. Is actually, in fact, very boring because he takes so many hits. Um, you have to destroy both of his pincers, and then he will also change color, and then you will know that he is almost dead. You also notice that uh, the water overlay is gone. Thankfully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as distracting. Uh, phasing through Pincha again. So, do they do that just because they forgot? Uh, you're talking about the uh, little glitch in the corner? No, I'm talking about the water. The water? No, I'm going to assume, although I do not have the developers on speed dial to confirm this, um, but I'm assuming that that was intentional in order to make it a little bit easier to fight. Oh, yeah, uh, it also it also is very likely that hey, because of the large now. sprites that are being moved around on the Super Nintendo that it in fact would have been detrimental to performance to have the overlay. That's true. Now it's kind of gruesome. He has yes. a gouged out eye and a missing limb. Yes, uh, still not as terrifying as Soon Soon from uh, the second level, but well, that's that was yeah. some childhood nightmare. Childhood right? nightmare things, yeah. Uh, the the giant enemy crab is not not as terrifying, but it is. It does have a disturbing amount of decomposition to it. Yeah, at first I thought it would be tasty, but now it just looks sickly. You might even call this a dungeonous crab. You know, if you were in, if you, know, if you wanted to, if you want, ow! Don't hit me. You're in the room and you're making bad puns. Yeah. You know how this works. You know what you were getting into. <laughs> You came like over. Every every single game we've ever played, you say a bad pun, I punch you. You try and punch me. Sometimes you miss. Shut up. Sometimes you hit yourself. I don't do that often. Okay. In my defense, I normally hit close to you. Yes, your your accuracy is improving. Hopefully, that'll translate into your uh, Soul Blazer LP. Right. Real life skills. Yeah, that thing. Uh, this guy this he is almost dead. You promise? Yes, yes. Well, yeah, because the, of the video is <laughs> the almost, almost done. Yeah. Oh, there goes his other eye. Thankfully, item. yes. And now he will melt into a delicious oh, puddle of crab meat. Wow. That's a little gooey on the sides. I wouldn't... I, I'd probably send that back if I, if I got that. I don't know. I'd probably still eat it. Seizure inducing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our valor is now sufficient. Thank you, game. 
I appreciate that vote of confidence. You are now status quo. You're now you're okay. Yeah, just you know, just kind of middle of the road. You know, you're, you're fine. Mediocre. Yeah. It's ordinary. Yeah, you have uh, four or five strings. I do. One more string to get. Uh, the next dungeon we're going to go through is Quagmire. Um, it is it is awesome. Quagmire. Yes. It is the most awesome dungeon in the game because of its theme, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it uh, in the following videos. It is south of the docks here. And we, we've already seen a little cloud blocking it. Yes. That cloud will now be gone. The Spirit of Pencha was in fact blocking that. Now? And now, Quagmire, uh, as a child, this is where I first learned what a Quagmire was. So, yes, vocabulary. Yay. There we go, standing at the entrance of the Swamplands. Uh, we will investigate Quagmire and its mysteries in the next part cool, cool. of playing Equinox. That bat is dangerously close to Glendall. Yeah.